first tattoo that Anna ever got is the freaking original white girl tattoo. Hi guys! I actually can't believe it. I don't know if you can see. I was looking for so long last night on Animal Crossing for a shark and I literally like opened up my DS this morning and I fucking caught one. I don't know if you can see him. Look at that! Look how cute he is! <gasps> I'm really happy because I've been like wanting to get all the sharks from my aquarium for so long. Now I have two. <laughs> yeah, today I'm going to be doing a tattoos and piercings video. It's really, really, really long overdue. I know like a lot of you have been asking me to do that but I got a new tattoo recently and I've been waiting for it to heal and it's all done now so I thought it would be a good time to make this. <laughs> so currently I have nine piercings and six tattoos. I had to think about that one. <laughs> I'm shooting in a garden which is not mine and so I hope no one from next door is gonna be like yo yo what are you doing filming a video? <laughs> Yeah. Also, it's really freaking cold outside. Probably not the best place for me to make a video where I'm showing you my body. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna start with piercings. Trying to remember the order that I got them is like really difficult because I've had piercings since I was 14 and I'm now 21. First time I got a piercing was my septum and I pierced it myself with a safety pin because I'm a dickhead and I don't recommend that you do that because you could die. I actually got snake bites after that. I don't have them anymore but I still have the scars which is like kind of annoying but Oh well. I'm by the beach right now, by the way. I don't know if you can see and hear these seagulls flexing on me in my video. Okay, I have a Medusa piercing. I think I have a video on my YouTube of me getting that done. Uh, I also have a video of me getting this done, which is my labret. If you're thinking of getting a piercing and you're kind of worried, then don't be because piercings don't really hurt and they're gonna last like a second anyway, so. I also have my nose done. I also have my smiley piercing. And I gross to show you. I pierced that myself. Me and Emily were like super bored one night and she was like, I have piercing needles. And I was like, yep, cool, let's pierce our smiley. <laughs> I also have my tongue web piercing. I also pierced that myself, which was really awkward. And I did that with a safety pin again. And I also really don't recommend that you do that. And I'm going to get flamed in the comments for like doing all this shit. I also have my ears stretched there at 40 at the moment, both of them. I've had them stretched since I was 14, 15, 16, I don't remember. I'm um, thinking about downsizing soon, probably not too much, but a little bit. When I wear plugs, they're like flappy. <laughs> they're kind of annoying. The last piercing I have is my belly button. Yep, it's just that. It's cute, it's a little gem. That piercing was the one that hurt the most, actually. So I have six tattoos at the moment. My first tattoo was this anchor. Just like an outline of it with some colored roses. Tattoos don't really hurt much for me. It just like kind of depends on the place that I get them as well. It was my first tattoo. I got it for my dad and because he was in like the Navy and stuff. So it's like sailor. But yeah, I don't actually think that like, tattoos should have a meaning by the way. I don't think everyone should have to justify every tattoo that they have because like not tattoos don't really need to have a meaning. They can just be like, if you like a design then get it, go for it. Not all of my tattoos have a meaning, but some of them do. First tattoo that Anna ever got is the freaking original white girl tattoo. My second tattoo, this Tokyo Hotel tattoo. And I design all my tattoos, by the way. I always get my own drawings done because I like to have my own artwork on my body. I think that's really cool. Tokyo Hotel are like my favorite band ever and I'm probably going to grow out their music kind of soon, but I don't really care. Tattoo is really cool still and I uh, will probably love it for a long time. I kind of have to. It's on my body forever. Hi mom. They've been like such a big part of my life so I really wanted to get their logo tattooed. My third tattoo was my finger. Just a little pink heart on my middle finger. This tattoo is like really impulsive for me to get as well. The pain for this tattoo was probably like the worst out of all my tattoos because it's like on my finger bone. It was okay because it only lasted like a few minutes so. My next tattoo that I got was my chest. It's my chest tattoo and it's a Lord of the Rings tattoo. Uh, and it goes like all the way around my shoulders and stuff. This tattoo was like kind of painful in the middle to get, but the rest of it was okay. And a lot of people come up to me and they like ask me what it is. And it's like just the um, the one ring inscription from Lord of the Rings. Next tattoo I got was, it's just like a little moon with a purple rose and then some necklace chains. Purple is like one of my favorite colors and purple like actually does have like a quite a big spiritual meaning for me uh, in my life and for myself so uh, purples I just really wanted to get a purple tattoo did a design one day and I was like hey that looks dope why not get it tattooed so I did the little moon the crescent moon is actually um, from a necklace 
which my best friend Emily gave me. So I think it's really cute that I have that tattoo because it just reminds me of her. And she like really likes this tattoo as well because it's like her. I just like the design of the necklace. So my last tattoo was one I got recently. It was uh, my Destiny tattoo. And I'm like so stoked that I have this done now. I'm really happy because Destiny is like my all time favorite video game and Destiny is like literally my life. And if you know me in real life, I will not stop talking about Destiny. Like I talk about it all the time and it's like really, really annoying some people. Like I just don't shut up about Destiny. It's a uh, little ghost just with like the Taken King sim symbol logo behind it in purple. Like a purple ombre. This tattoo didn't really hurt apart from like where you know when you feel your arm and it's like you can feel a line of bone. Yeah that really hurt like down the line but apart from that it was okay. Yeah that's all of my tattoos and piercings. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know to make more videos like this because I know you guys like them. Please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be uploading every week. Want to follow me on any of my websites then they're going to be down below. I have a Instagram and a Twitter. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye. Hi guys, it's Anna. What's up? It's October now, and we all know what that means. See what's inside. This box is from CandySand.com, and they sell Japanese sweets and candy and stuff, little things. I don't actually know what's in this, so we're gonna find out. Stab it. We're just, just. Oh, you like stabbing things, don't you? <laughs>